These maple ginger cheesecakes will leave you wanting more. Hello my dears, Buttercup the Baking Spaniel here, and I'm kicking off this year's holiday baking series with a recipe that will be sure to get you into that holiday spirit. We will be making maple ginger mini cheesecakes. Good golly does that sound delicious. We better not waste another minute. It's a very rainy day over here, so I apologize if there are any rain sounds on the audio. but. What better day to bake some delicious treats? Let's begin by making the crust for our mini cheesecakes. This should be a snap to whip up because we will be using ginger snaps. Our first step will be to crush our cookies. I recommend using a food processor for this. We will need one cup of crushed ginger snaps, which is roughly five ounces of whole cookies. Let's place these in the food processor and pulse until they form fine crumbs. Now we will pour these into a separate bowl. Add in one tablespoon of granulated sugar, one quarter teaspoon cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon ginger, and one quarter teaspoon nutmeg. The additional spices are optional, but I think they add a lovely touch. Let's mix these together well. Add four tablespoons of melted butter. And stir until everything is combined. We are ready to create the crust for our mini cheesecakes. Here I have a 12 cup muffin tin lined with paper liners. Let's distribute our crumb mixture evenly into each liner. I'm using a lovely little cookie scoop to distribute mine. Once finished, we will press down each one firmly so that it is nice and flat. It's kind of fun. Now these will need to bake at 325 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 163 degrees Celsius, for around five to seven minutes. Allow to cool while we move on to the cheesecake filling. For this recipe, I am using my stand mixer. Let's combine 16 ounces of cream cheese, and one third cup of sour cream. Make sure that these are both at room temperature. We will mix these together using the paddle attachment until they are nice and smooth. Add in one third cup of granulated sugar, three tablespoons of maple syrup, and one teaspoon of maple extract. Mix these together well. Mm, smells so nice and mapley. Add in two eggs, one at a time, mixing on low speed until just combined between each egg. It's very important not to overmix your cheesecake batter at this point. Overmixing can create air bubbles, which may cause your cheesecake to crack and fall while baking. All right, our filling is ready to go. We will distribute the mixture evenly over our cooled crusts. 
got my handy dandy little scoop here again. Once finished, these will need to bake at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 18 to 20 minutes or until the edges are set and the centers have just a slight jiggle to them. Allow to cool at room temperature for 30 minutes, then place in the refrigerator to chill for at least two hours. While we are waiting on our cheesecakes to finish chilling, let's make a delicious spiced maple caramel sauce to pour over top. Oh my, I am so excited to make this. Now this recipe will make extra sauce, but I just know you will find so many wonderful uses for it. I personally love mine over ice cream or for breakfast with pancakes or French toast. Yum, yum. To begin, you will need a medium saucepan fitted with a candy thermometer. Pour in one cup of pure maple syrup. Mm. Bring this to a boil and continue cooking until it reaches between 225 and 230 degrees Fahrenheit. This is just below what is called the softball stage. Once there, remove from the heat and stir in one and a half tablespoons of butter. When that has melted and is well combined, add in one quarter cup of heavy cream, one half teaspoon of ginger, one half teaspoon cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon nutmeg, and one quarter teaspoon sea salt stirring until just combined. Pour into a heat proof container and allow to cool completely at room temperature. Once cooled, you can store in the refrigerator for around two weeks. You may find it becomes slightly grainy or crystallizes after being stored, but you can easily fix this by reheating for a short time in the microwave before using. Now let's put the finishing touches on our mini cheesecakes. I've made a simple whipped cream topping and I'm just going to put a little swirl onto each cheesecake. Oh, how lovely. And now for the best part, a drizzle of that amazing maple caramel sauce. Goodness me, I just cannot get over how cute these look. These wonderful little cheesecakes are the perfect size for sharing at your next gathering. And the flavor pairing of the maple and spices has such a delightfully warm and cozy feeling. I do hope you will give them a try at home. I promise you won't be disappointed. And if you are looking for some lovely gifts this season, you absolutely must check out my Redbubble shop. I have some adorable designs available on all types of fun items, from t-shirts, aprons, mugs, stickers, and so much more. Much love to all of you. Until next time. Mwah. <laughs> Better cut some burping bits. Excuse me. How rude. <laughs> <laughs>